required here in Romania, Bondatia pentru Constanța Critica. And Dr. Paul Kurtz will begin his presentation uh, with my great pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sorry there is no microphone. I'm sorry I do not speak Romanian. I take it you all speak English. I'm a professor of philosophy. How many people here are students of philosophy? One, okay. <laughs> Economics. Political science. Yeah, all right, this is exactly political science. We've been enjoying your city very much. We just arrived from the Netherlands, Utrecht and Amsterdam, where we have a center for inquiry. I had overheads, but the electricity doesn't work. So I'll try to speak slow. But uh, we, are, we are the center for inquiry now exists in 42 countries. I'm from Amherst, New York. We have a center in Washington, D.C., Los Angeles, New York City. And we have centers in, uh, in India, in China, in Russia, in England, in Germany, in France, in Italy, in South America, uh, and uh, in Poland and Russia, I think I mentioned that. The Center for Inquiry, term inquiry, committed to research, we defend the use of scientific knowledge to understand the universe and reason to solve our problems. We believe in the separation of church and state and that the uh, state should be entirely independent of political institutions. We believe in humanist values as an alternative to religion, and we're committed to democracy and the new planetary humanism that is developing elsewhere. The 21st century is the century of the new planetary civilization of which Romania and the United States and France and Argentina and every part of the world is involved. I published this book called Affirmations, Joyful and Creative Exuberant, so I thought I might read uh, some of the uh, descriptions of what we are committed to. We're secular humanists, or if you will, planetary humanists. I prefer planetary to global. We affirm humanism as a realistic alternative to the theologies of despair and the ideologies of violence and as a source of rich personal significance and genuine satisfaction and service to others. We believe in optimism rather than pessimism, hope rather than despair, learning in the place of dogma, truth instead of ignorance, joy rather than guilt or sin, tolerance in the place of fear, love instead of hatred, compassion over selfishness, beauty instead of ugliness, and reason rather than blind faith or irrationality. In short, we believe in the fullest realization of the best and noblest that we are capable of as human beings. And coming here to Romania and seeing the revival of religion or efforts to revive religion, uh, and this is happening elsewhere, and also coming from the Netherlands, which is a very laic, secular society. Western Europe is post-Christian and post-religious. And so the urgent question is, can we develop a new morality for the planetary civilization that has emerged for the 21st century? And 
I think it is urgent to define that. Often, and I see this in Romania, you have libertarianism as a kind of uh, moral point of view connected with evangelical fundamentalism or the old time theology. So can we have an open, democratic, free society in which individuals can fulfill their goals and aspirations and at the same time have a genuine numerality in which we attempt to raise the level of taste, appreciation, and the quality of life. Must you believe in God to be moral? Now, as a philosophical skeptic, my answer is no. You don't have to believe in God. And none of the great philosophers from Aristotle through Kant, through John Stuart Mill, Spinoza and John Dewey, basically attempt to develop an ethical morality based on philosophy. And so we've attempted to develop a new morality based on humanism. What are some of these principles of the new planetary ethics? Well, we want to protect and enhance the Earth to preserve it for future generations and to avoid inflicting needless suffering on other species. We attempt to transcend the divisive parochial loyalties based on race, religion, which divides people, gender, nationality, creed, class, sexual orientation, or ethnicity, and we strive to work together for the common good of humanity. We believe in an open and pluralistic society and the, that democracy is the best guarantee of protecting human rights, which, to which we're committed, of course, from authoritarian elites and repressive majorities. We believe in the cultivation of moral excellence. And I like, I like to emphasize that term. This new morality is a morality not of letting anyone do whatever they want, and we believe in freedom, but developing a life of excellence and even nobility in our own terms as persons. We believe in the common moral decencies and virtues, such as altruism, integrity, honesty, fairness, responsibility. Humanist ethics is amenable to critical, rational guidance. There are moral standards that we discover and moral principles that are tested by their consequences. We surely do not base morality on the Bible, the Hebrew Bible, or the New Testament, nor on the Quran, or the Hadith, or the ancient Buddhist or Hindu wisdom, but a new morality in this postmodern scientific, technological, informational world in which we all live and participate. We are deeply concerned with the moral education of our children. We want to nourish their reason and compassion. And my colleague, Stephen Loft, who is here from England, has written a good deal on moral education for children, which is crucial. <laughs> if we're going to have a libertarian, open society, which we are committed to, it will not work unless we have moral education in the schools and in society for children to develop their moral tendencies. We believe uh, in scientific discovery. I understand there are many critics of science here and technology, but the 21st century is a century in which science and technology has extended life, reduced suffering and pain, increased nutrition, and uh, contribute to the common good and the individual good. 